Music es un voyage. Welcome back to Music as un Voyage. In this episode, I visit a music school for special needs students in Helsinki. I heard about the school after going to the festival where I met the band Maria Gasolina that sings Brazilian music translated into Finnish and that you can see in a previous episode. Today I'm talking to the Resonari Music School director, Marco, who explained to me more about their amazing work making music accessible for everyone. I hope you enjoy this trip with me. Marco, thank you so much for receiving me here well in your done. beautiful music center in Helsinki. So, where are we exactly? This is the Music Center Resonari in Helsinki. The heart of our work is a music school. Right. So, our music school is actually uh, basically similar than all other music schools in Finland. So, people are coming as a hobby. But in our case, all of our pupils are people with special educational needs. At this moment, we have more than 300 pupils. Like I told, all of them have some different way how to learn music and our task is to make music possible for all. For us as a teacher, we need to find the best solutions, new approaches and we also need to develop new tools for how to make music possible and learning music possible for all. And you can imagine it's fantastic, it's, it's so inspirational work because all the time you need to be awake and you need to think how to teach you and what is your strength and in that way it's not only teaching but at the same time it's like to be somebody who is inventing something new. Resonor is founded in 1995 and we started with development work and we are so happy we still have fun so it means we have time just to think <laughs> and sit down and think and uh, in that way we still have this music school it's like one department of our work but another de department we call it a, more like a development department or we give special services, uh, continuing education, and we make a lot of cooperation with different partners in Finland. So we are not only in this building, but we are connected with different schools, uh, associations, professionals in the music education field. When we started working in Resonare, so we wanted to make goal-oriented learning possible. Right. So how to really learn playing and understanding what we are doing. And it, it is a little bit different than maybe if thinking history, uh, it, these musical activities, uh, those has been most uh, like social moments, having fun to Together, and maybe if thinking people with intellectual disabilities, they were playing maybe maracas or some rhythm instruments only. But now, if you want to learn how to play guitar, bass guitar, keyboards, so it's a little bit different task uh, and challenge for a teacher also. It is something we started to think here in in Resonari. And if thinking now, I started working with my colleague Carlo, uh, but now we have really fantastic group of our teachers right. and we are so happy this kind of idea about teaching the trust of learning potential of everyone it is spread to the to Finland but also we have a lot of international connections and it's fantastic for us because always like you know when meeting other people you are learning always something new and it's so important did you develop your own methodology of course, if thinking music education, there are these basic medias and basic approaches what we are using all the time. So yeah. there are basically not 
any changes. But now when we are talking uh, uh, special music education, so it means we also need uh, some other tools and approaches and uh, this uh, figure notes originally uh, invented by my colleague Carlo but uh, developed here in Resonari. This figure note system is one tool we are using a lot and for many of our musicians uh, figure notes has been a key to the world of learning music. Do you have an example to show me? Yes, this is one of these books and uh, figure notes is based in uh, colors. It looks like this. So there are colors and now the player is following this color code information. Right. And now uh, if thinking for example keyboard or piano. So here you can see you just put these stickers here. And on, then you have the, the figure as well, so the circles or the yes. squares. Yes, there are different octaves, for example, here in, in the keyboard. So you just need to match the same color there. But they, it's so concrete, if thinking conventional notation, it's more, more abstract. Yeah. So you, you need to understand some, it's a more logical, even mathematical thinking what you, yes. you should do. And if thinking our musicians in Resonari, for many, it's impossible to understand. But with the help of the FICO notes, they can play from notation in the same way like all other musicians in the world. And now, if thinking figure notes, it's uh, fantastic because with the help of the figure notes, you can show all the same musical information than conventional notation. Mm -hmm. So when you start playing, in the beginning, you just follow these stickers, and suddenly it starts to be a melody. Mm -hmm. But maybe someday, if you are able to learn more, these figure notes colors ah. are going to the, the uh, conventional. Uh, Stay. Colors are helping to find once again what this information means, and maybe later you do not need colors at all. Yeah, and that is really good because you're making music accessible to everyone. Yes. And have you seen music changing someone's life? Or yes. So? It's a. If thinking what, what is happening, the, so there are so many sided effects and benefits if thinking making music. But uh, maybe first of all, music is basically social thing. So it is something you are doing uh, and making together with and other people. Maybe in the beginning, in some cases, only with a teacher, but then maybe in the band or in orchestra or in choir. So it means it's always somehow sharing. And it means it is a social thing. You are learning how to be together with other people. It is maybe the most important. Of course, if we just start to think what other things are happening, so it's a, it's a fantastic and it depends. Maybe for some it is uh, helping with motoric skills, maybe it is helping with concentration, it's helping with uh, understanding information like here, maybe it is opening the doors to the creativity. But when you learn something, when you are involved in the teaching process and learning process and when you are connected to the other people. So these positive effects are happening automatically. Uh, for me as a teacher, the most important thing is uh, to find ways how to make music possible. I'm so happy about these, uh, these effects and uh, it's fantastic to see if something is changing in the life of our musicians. And then you were talking about the social side of music. Mm. And yesterday I've been to your beautiful festival. Yes. So that you organized with many bands, many people mm. around. And then I also saw a band, Maria Gasolina, mm. who plays Brazilian music, yes. sang in Finnish. Mm. And, and one of your teachers playing this band, right? Yes. So uh, do you usually organize festivals like this? To bring people together? Or, yeah, yes. Um, if thinking uh, our music school and our center, we have a lot of concerts. If thinking people with special needs and uh, for example people with autism, for some of them it's really difficult to be connected to other people in the beginning of musical career. But uh, we try to give possibility to share 
and maybe when you are practicing in the classroom with a teacher so maybe somebody is just going to the classroom and then sharing the moment and step by step having concert in this our living room where we are right here then we have a bit, a bit bigger concert outside of uh, Resonari and then uh, we are organizing concert performances uh, with other Finnish artists so it means our musicians with special educational needs are performing in equal way with other Finnish artists and it's really fantastic so it means uh, if thinking the cultural field in Finland uh, it has started to have really different kind of musicians so it's uh, like a revolution what has uh, happened in cultural field and it is one uh, uh, example about the inclusion also so our musicians and other Finnish bands other Finnish artists are playing together yeah. and uh, when you go to the concert they are just all making fantastic show I really admire your work and I have been meeting musicians in Helsinki and absolutely all of them they mention your work yeah so then you can see that it's making a difference in the city yeah. in the country and in the world so thank you so much for receiving me here thank you